and not wearing the tie, that things can make the students more enjoyable their time in school and they, it make the students show their expressions. So, Madam Putre, I will say that according to you, uh, according to you, when school uniform, is it something important or no? Uh, based on the experience of Rio as a student, he is not comfortable enough to wear uniform. How about you? Well, as a um, principal for 20 years experience, I totally agree about applying the uniform to all the high school students in Indonesia. When we're comparing to America, of course we're different from the culture and also everything, so we're different. So there is some, from, from my point of view, there are some advantage that we can have if we apply the uniform to all the high school students in Indonesia first. The uniforms will stop other students by being judged for other people. So wearing the uniform will make them to look the same, so they will feel equal. And it's, so there is no jealousy between the students, and also it can uh, reduce the social gap between the students. And it also, um, it can make it harder for the kids to form. As we know that students, especially the teenagers in high school, they are still in the state of looking for their identity. So they tend to form the slaves to show their identity, to show all what they have by wearing their special attributes and it can emerge some jealousy between one other student to the other student. So by wearing the uniform, uh, it, they can look the same and they will feel equal uh, to each other. So what about you? Have you same idea with Madam Kutri? Well, uh, I personally, I'm not gonna tell literally that I don't agree with the implementations of the school uniform among the students of the schools, but here I just wanna give more emphasis on the considerations, like the basic considerations where we are gonna uh, apply this kind of uh, uniform or something like that in the school. So yes, regarding what uh, what uh, the issue that the school uniform can make can avoid the students playing and like the the students fight each other or something like that. I guess we have to pay attention and uh, I mean like recognize that they are in the stage of uh, still unstable and they are also like still dynamic, changing every time something like that and. Because of that, like they have uh, the high tensions to the high tension to showing like their identity, so they, they want to uh, have the big game or something to belong to each group, each identity, something like that. So uh, I mean, like uh, no matter what you dress the students in, they always uh, can find a way to make uh, the judgment among the children. Just like you know, if you dress them in the same way, in the same style, actually they, they hair are different, like the skin color are different. So they they have so many reasons to still uh, to still apply the judgment or something like that among uh, among the students. And actually uh, by dressing the students in the same way, like in the same uh, style, is actually teach them how like how to always accept something that is the same. So uh, by like instead of forcing them to do so, uh, maybe it's better for us as adults, as a teacher, as uh, yeah, the moderator of uh, them to teach them how to appreciate the difference, something like that. What do you ask them? I don't about the misery and the From my point of view, I still agree that if the uniform is still being applied to the high school in Indonesia. Yeah, and the next advantage that I have is actually the uniform will save very money. So the student uh, won't pressure their parents to buy uh, the new clothes actually. So can we immediately go five days away to school and they have to buy 
five other different clothes every day, so it will cost a lot of money. So by wearing the uniform, uh, it won't happen. So you just wearing the uniform and you can pay uh, more affordable than you buy the new clothes every day. Do you agree with that, Ms. Uh, okay. Uh, like uh, Mr. Henry said before, that the uniform is cheaper than free clothes. Uh, well, I guess in, in this case we have to see like critically, uh, critically with the case, uh, especially if we talk about the price uh, for the people for the all of the levels in the society. So I guess you as the principal, right? So you deal every day with the uh, with the students, with the teachers, and the uniform, the implementations of the uniform. Uh, can you tell me like how much the cost of a set of the uniform? For one set of the uniform in my school, actually it cost about one million. It uh, included three pieces of uniforms, half and all the attributes needed. So it's quite affordable. Okay, so we, okay, in, in your opinion, yeah, it is affordable. Okay, so let's say one million for a set of the uniform, and you know, if you like buy the free clothes, like in the like in the middle school, go, you can uh, you can still get um, like 10 pieces or something like uh, 5 trousers and 5 pieces and uh, you should, uh, I mean like this kind of clothes can also uh, uh, useful for another days after school for example and also for the weekend so it is actually like help the parents itself to not uh, increase their daily needs yeah, by just buying the, uh, the I mean like just uh, spending a lot of times for the lots of times uh, to wash like a lot of uh, money, spending a lot of money for the uniform, you know, like, yeah, uh, it's like, if we see, again, if we see critically, it is uh, actually expensive enough, and the second one is that when kids, you know, it's also, if let's say we, uh, like, we give the freedom to kids to wear the, uh, the freestyle going to the school, like in the different logos, something in the middle, and sometimes they uh, use the high logo, expensive one, or something like that. Actually, we uh, we also teach the children again how to appreciate the difference, how to not value uh, value the life just because of the logos. Yeah. Yeah, but I think if they wear the different, you know, like the they wear the clothes. Uh, the free clothes or they wear whatever they want to wear when they go to school, uh, it can cause you know a social gap. And of course, for the last one is for the safety reason. So by wearing the uniform to school, the school can identify who goes to are not going to the school. So we can directly detect a uh, stranger or smuggler who come to our school. So it's very important that we see it from the safety reason. Okay, so uh, I mean like again, we have to like back to the basic considerations and basic like we, we you know, like in the, again, at, the, at their age, they are, they are unstable as I said before and besides of that they usually like they are also in the stage of dynamic and enthusiastic sometimes in the age of en enthusiastic the children the kids the students yeah uh, tend to what is it uh, tend to have uh, so many creative things in their mind so if you say that by by uh, make them in the same style it is prevent uh, prevent the school prevent the students and make them more secure for them it's not really a big deal i mean i'm not sure it is work because uh, it's not hard for for in their age yet it's not really hard to find like uh, another way to keep under that school uh, to do anything something like that because they can easily like borrow the school uniform from the other students yeah you have experience that okay still to enter the school so uh, again I mean like we have to find the positive and the make sense one you know uh, uh, maybe uh, it's maybe it's better for the schools for some people uh, just applying maybe all the positive uh, competition, just like sport competitions, uh, uh, 
um, within the school so that they can have the great friendship, I mean, uh, yeah, the positive uh, friendship, friendship among them. Okay, we just keep those ideas. Now, we move to Miss Ingrid. Do you have any response Miss Ingrid? Maybe you have a new location for high school uniform as a problem solving for this problem? Well, I mean, you can use uh, The uniform of Indonesian students is so far so good. But uh, according to my opinion and what I've heard, I think uh, we can make some uh, changes in uh, the way they dress. Uh, I mean the uniform of Indonesian student. And just like this, one of my clients told me that uh, her daughter that didn't want to go to school because uh, she, her daughter get bored with the if she had to wear the same uniform every day, uh, five days a week. And well, I think uh, it made me realize that I have to uh, rev uh, revise the design of the uniform of a student student. Because of the new young generation, they like changing. So, uh, why don't we change the uniform uh, of Indonesian student? Mm -hmm. Do you make it? Yes, I did. And this is uh, the design of my uh, new school uniform. Okay, maybe you can. Maybe not only to it. The idea of designing the uniform of the school uniform that the uniform uh, must be comfortable as possible for the student because uh, the, the new young generation uh, they like uh, fashion, they, they want to be stylish as they can. So uh, uh, I think it, it could be implemented in our. So, you apparently you more interesting, you more with Miss Indri's design right? Yes, uh, okay. What do you think? This is the first time that I know uh, one of the designers from Indonesia design a beautiful uniform for a senior high school and it is, this is amazing. And it is great. It's not boring actually. It is good. And you know, there is no <laughs> you know, choking her, choking neck, your neck, and yeah, that's great. Uh, no, maybe there's uh, in a week for the every school in Indonesia, maybe we can uh, apparently make the weekdays for the for the students to two days. Mm, to wear the uniform, just like that, and the three days wearing uh, free clothes. That's cool. Oh, that's good, yeah. I mean, like, in my uh, yeah personal opinion, this design is very impressive uh, for the school uniform, you know. It's not really, like, uh, formal, but it's casual, and it's really good. And the idea maybe from the student, see, um, yeah, it is from the students also good you know if um, like if in a way we uh, we implement two we allow the students to wear two uh, two uniforms and the rest of the days they have the freedom to wear the free clothes freestyle for going to school that's really a good idea I mean like fair and makes sense because uh, I have uh, two reasons for this uh, firstly, you know, in the particular days, it's like, yeah, in the particular days and in particular occasions, you know, and for example, like on Monday, usually the school, they have like school ceremony or something like that. So we need sometimes, yeah, we need to dress in the same to gain the idea that we are from the same country, we are uh, from the same nations, we mm -hmm. are respect in one thing, is that maybe the national, national flag, respect in, yeah things like that so that's uh, the good ideas we still keep the idea for 
uh, uh, dressing the students with that kind of uniform. Uh, maybe this one is would be better uh, to use in a Monday with the hat. Maybe you can add that the cap with the cap. And then the second one is actually for the rest of the day. If the students uh, given uh, the opportunity to dress themselves whatever they want, actually we give the right of uh, the freedom of the expressions for the individual so that they can like show themselves how to be comfortable enjoying themselves as uh, what he is or she is. Well, do you agree with the question with the suggestion for Rio and Isere? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I don't know if we design this is good, but I hope it's more cheaper than According to the idea, I think it's good by wearing only two days to be one. And for the rest, they can wear any clothes they want. But as a school principal, they are be a strict rules to this. I mean, they wear the clothes and what they want to wear. Uh, the school has to be strict. So there are things that they can wear and there are things that they cannot wear. So what attribute they should, uh, what attribute is appropriate and what is not. So for sure, if they, uh, as a teenager, they, they are still, like you say, unstable. So they tend to follow, yeah, for example, the celebrities they like. So for the rich people, maybe they can wear the expensive bag like Victoria Becky has. It's not appropriate when you carry it on school, so it has to be a rules of that. But for the idea, I think it's good. It's also fair to the students who also express themselves. But as a school site, they have to, to be considered. So, maybe the implementation um, will be received. Of course, you must have to decide, right? So, what other design would be? Uh, this, this one, uh, we can wear it on Monday, but the rest until the first day, and the student maybe can wear the free clothes, but on Friday, uh, I will decide that the student will uh, wear batik. But uh, all of this depends to the school policy of the Okay, but you plan to make the design, yeah? Is there any way you can write this? Yes. yes. Sure. So, we have a good conclusion now. So, the conclusion of our discussion today is school uniform can be wear by students for two days in a week which is in Monday and Friday. And the other day, the student can wear uh, free clothes that they have, uh, as long as, as long as have the lightness aspect. Mm -hmm. So that it doesn't limit the student expression. I hope the new design of uniform can make student more fashionable, but still have the lightness. Thank you for coming, thank you for your time, and uh, thank you for watching. See you next session. Have a good day. Bye bye.